friends, it's Janet, and today I want to show you a fun watercolor technique using distressed oxides. So what I've done here is I've just opened up my palette or my stamp pad and just stamped a little bit onto my paper. And what I have in front of me here is a um, just a white cardstock. Okay, so kind of basic colors here. And let me see if I can zoom you in a little bit and show you what happens when you add water to the ink. Can you see that? There's a really cool reaction there that happens. All right, but what we're gonna do here is we're actually just gonna grab some of this. Even after it's dried, you can pick it up with your um, water brush. And let me get you back out again here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going into the red here. Water color just, it gives you this nice, lighter, washed out kind of watercolor effect. Okay, so you can pick it up and do something like that. All right, I'm gonna grab some of that blue and do the same thing here. Then I'm gonna grab some yellow and do a little bit there. All right, now I'll zoom in again so you can see what's going on. All right, now here's the fun thing. I'm going to pick up some blue from over here a little yellow and it's making green that's not a problem and I am just going to touch it into the center of this pink flower I painted take the bluish green and just do another one over here I'm going to let that just sit for a few minutes you can kind of start to see what's happening here is that it um it seeds itself so now I'm Picking up some red, which is actually kind of turning pink on me. And I'm going to go, let me add a little more water to it. And then, okay, um, even when it's dry, okay, you can pick up color. And now I'm going to go into this yellow one here. And I'll hit the green one with the pink as well. Grab a little more of it. Can you see what's happening here with the pink one? It feeds itself. And so if I go over here and pick up some yellow, come back to the pink flower, I'm gonna add some more in the center and just wait and it will continue to feed that image. Picking up yellow again, I'm gonna go into the blue flower in the center. Now look how pale and washed out the pink went on the green. Can you see the yellow is starting to feed out? Put a little more yellow in the center of this one. Yellow back into the yellow one. Let's see what happens. And wait. And so I'm just going to leave you over here for a second. So you can see that um, my inks are dried here on the paper. I can just squeeze a little water out of my brush and go right back into them. Of course, I can mix colors together. And use that as well. So here, bring these up close, the pink one. Can you see how the colors started to spread? And there's the yellow on the blue. It kind of blended around the outer edge to make green. There's the yellow one and the green one. So I just thought this was a really fun 
cool technique. So I've painted my yellow green here. I'm going to go up and grab some blue. Just touch right into the center there and watch it feed. show you some other ones. Um, first to show up close what I did here with the the green, um, or I guess the blue on top of the green and then I put a little pink in the center and it's hard to tell the pinkish color. It's more of a kind of a light purpley color. Um, but there you can see the centers of some of those and how they've bled out. And I'll show you some of my experiments here that I thought were really neat. Um, here's another one that I did off camera just to kind of show you how they're bleeding. I think this one right here is, is my favorite. But this one here, these were um, just really small little teeny drops of purple on top and then they they kind of bled and filtered in I mean look at this how nice this bleed is here so it's purple with the blue on it I put a little bit more purple on top um, so yeah the the nature of the ink because it's transparent and you see through it um, and it also works with water um, that's kind of some of the effects you get. Here's another one on just cardstock. Um, I actually just started out just painting with it to see what it looked like. And then when I started to put it on top of itself and see how it blended, it gave some really interesting effects. So look at this one here where the I think, I don't know if I just put water in the center here, if I really went with a light color, but either way, it blended out the center and then the dots, can you see that there's like a purple inside the blue that blended out? I just think that it's really neat how it does it and I bet you could come up with some interesting ways, you know, to use it to paint with. Um, look at the, I'm getting camera with this one this one here. <laughs> the mixture of the color there in the petals. It's so neat. And it really does have like this uh, watercolor effect. Um, but the interesting thing is, is that even when they're dry, if you go, you know, thinking, okay, like just like watercolor, you could go back on top of it and work. Um, what happens though is that you actually um, continue to blend. So I'm picking up some blue here and I'm just going to go into the center of this blue flower here and just give it a few minutes and see what happens. When your ink is dry and you go to pick it up with the water brush, like here I'm going to squeeze a little water out and put it on there. You can tell that you're picking up color because it turns like a white, it has a white cast to it compared to what the stamped image is. And then when you mix them together, they make different colors.
And when you go back on top of them, even when they're dry, you can see it spreads a little bit. Let's see what color I have here. It's a greenish color. Let me pick up some pink. The more you use it, the lighter the colors get. Um, but yeah, you're going to see that they continue to spread as you paint. And so what's, what is a sharp line when you start really isn't that sharp once you're laying it on top of each other. I hope that makes sense. So even here, if I'm putting blue back on top of blue, you can see that there's a defined, it's even starting to fade right now, there was a defined edge there, but it just starts to blend into each other. So I think it's really neat how, how it works. Um, but give it a try. See what it does. Play with it. I mean, it's just it's just fun sometimes to sit down and play without having to create something or have something in mind that you're making. But um, yeah, the way the colors, they don't muddy up. They don't um, really get too dark. And so it's kind of unique and fun. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how this works and give it a try yourself. If you do, let me know.